Nice one, Michael. Huh? Then that's what we're able to do now, where we weren't able to do. You can't YouTube that. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. So those little changes that we're able to do. <laughs> you see that? This is Michael Bowman. Hi, folks. Great friend now, after Absolutely. just enjoying this journey together. Uh, and then uh, even when COVID hit, we set up your backyard. Backyard, exactly. We right? were in the backyard, swinging away, <laughs> working on things. Uh, and then, I first met you, when my, my first thing was I want to be able to play scramble golf and someone to let me let me play with them, so at least get yeah, one yeah. shot in. And yeah. that's gone from uh, maybe can I get into a scramble golf you know match tournament, or uh, now I actually get people ask me to play golf with them, which never happened. I don't know. That, maybe, that, that was the greatest issue. thing to hear. Uh, like last year. Absolutely. You know, yeah, they wanted you to play in the championship. Yeah, right? they wanted me to play in a member guest. And that was uh, that just happened last year and I never thought anybody would invite <laughs> yeah. me to yeah, play well, in a member guest. We know the talent's there. It's just, you know, this game takes a little bit, you know. Yeah, it's just it the consistency I'm still working yeah. on, but uh, I can still count on, a, you know, getting around. I'm, I'm now shooting in the, the low 90s or eventually breaking 80 every once in a while. I mean, getting into the 80s every once in a while, but it's, you know, that's my short game more than uh, my irons and my, and my driver. So right. uh, that's on me to put more more work on the short game, but uh, I'm getting there. Yeah, that's kind of the balance act, right? You got the spectrums of the game, you got the short game, yep. you got driver. Exactly. You know, and uh, driver and irons are certainly more fun to work on than, than anything else. Exactly right. Uh, but now we've got a new deal with the short game. It just, that simple idea of the ball hitting the face, Club just, the, the, the center of the face, and yeah, that, that's bouncing really, off that that face. Exactly right. So, Instead of trying to scoop it or do all this stuff, it's just to make sure I'm hitting that center face, and yeah. it's really a, uh, it's getting a lot better. I, I can at least count on the non duff. Can I count on it getting close to the hole? Not all the time. Oh, not my best hit, but we'll we're getting started again. Yeah. Your distance from the ball needs to be managed here and there. Exactly. And other, that's, other times you'll get those hands really tucked in underneath you. And that's what I'm trying to ah. focus on. Hello. <sighs> is to really get that strike going. So Nobody doesn't want that strike. Absolutely. So sometimes you get in here tight. That's exactly what happens. And then your chin's up here. And so I remember feel, we were saying, like, you feel like you're further from the, the ball. ball. <clears throat> if your head was actually down here, you go, wait a minute, you'd probably back up. But what you do is you trick yourself and you tuck your chin up this. Or exactly your right. Up. I feel like I'm further away from the ball. So now I just need to. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little bit. A little draw right on line. A little slide, a little beautiful day in the neighborhood. A little fatter than I wanted, but right where I wanted it. Yeah. Playable miss hits, that's what we're looking for. Exactly right. You know, I never had a problem with distance, but I had a problem with consistency. And I took the power out just so I could get my club, my path right, get my face square. And uh, working in those things, what I love most about it is, is that uh, the journey has been iterative, meaning that we worked on one, one thing when we first started, and we were able to build on that as we continued. So it's, it wasn't just about, hey, I'm going to fix your slice. It's, hey, let's, let's work on this, and let's, then we're going to build on that. So it wasn't a, I didn't ever feel like it was just a, a, a simple fix for one thing. I felt like it was a complete path to where, where I'm going to go. And how did that make you feel? But how it made me feel was, was a lot more confident and also to enjoy the game. You know, it was before it was frustrating and I didn't know what I was doing wrong. And because it, the process has been iterative, I can go back to, okay, you know, it's basically when you're, you're resetting your computer and you say, hey, I'm going to go to the last reboot where everything was good. What it's been able to do is when you get foundations and when something is going astray, you just keep breaking it down until you go, Let's, what, is this part of the foundation still good? Yes. So this is what's happening. And so it's make, made you feel confident and also be able to fix and solve. And so that's the most important thing is not having your friends on the golf course when, you, when, you're, when you are having something, when the wheels are falling off saying, you know, you're behind the ball, your head's moving, your eyes on the ball. You can just shut all that down and just go, I don't need to listen to any of what you're saying. I've got the foundational support to, to get things done. So that's been transformative for me. And one of those key elements that you're talking about we know is true is the feeling of like moving these knees out here on the way down right, right? that's right to deliver on plane the downswing keep those arms next to you 
and then we can just kind of let it go, right? Yep. So, yeah. There you go. There you go. All right, here we go, baby. Par five? Go, par five. That'll do. That'll do. It's a little left, but should kick right. Yep. A little hybrid, huh? A little hybrid. Huh. Oh. Yeah, you had a little Got a jumpy. Little jumpy on that one. That's a power surge, you know. I'm just trying to flex in those knees, dog. Oh, that's a little little lefty. But hey, that's what we gotta work on. Let's go fix them. Yeah, let's fix them. Yeah, that's the guy right there. <laughs> so, we're out here in a beautiful day. Another beautiful you know, Saturday. Fog is in now after 100 degree heat. We're cooling off. We got down jackets, vest uh -huh. on here. Not so bad. Not too bad. We're rolling up on this shot here. It's gonna be about 100 yards right in here, yeah. which takes some extreme touch from the big man. Not a problem. Make it back here. What's the cart saying? Buck four, yeah. A buck four. Kind of right on that ridge, right? So a little yep. bit left of it's good. You'll be on the plateau. Good. Or you might just make it. I mean, I don't mind. Yeah. What the hell happened there? Let's do that again. We're not really sure. Oh, look at the path, though. See how it's that way? Yeah. Okay, so I feel like you play that ball too far forward for these short clubs, and then it it the ball's over here, and by the time when you start to turn, it just goes out and out and out to to the right. to the midpoint. So play it back a little bit, and then try to feel like you're when you come in here, try to come in, the, you know, do your knee thing and, and drop, yeah, get in here to the inside, right? Right. So almost like you're trying to hit a little draw with this thing. Make sure you have some space though. There you go. Right? That's perfect. Now I would say that's the tendency that I find in you. Yep. Is uh you know you like three finger poi. We know that. <laughs> and uh, he's a Hawaiian native just about now. Yeah, he's absolutely. Got himself a shirt on for sure, and you got yep. a place there. But honestly, you 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 keep you try to hit these shots with the ball position forward to the middle with these short wedges and it's doable they're going to pop up in the air we don't really want that right. you know and then of course if you start to unwind your club will kick out too far, far in the circle and, cause and that then you get on the heel little, or you right. pull it and all that stuff so you want to hit one more while we're here absolutely that's yeah. right there's one here you want to yeah we just yeah camera set there yeah i'm saying like this yeah you come in here and you feel like it's coming in this way right right Definitely from that path that way. Give yourself some space with the arms. Oh, Bowman. That's too hard, dude. Like if I stand here with my foot like this, right? Yeah, I'm gonna you, come under it. Yeah, you gotta come under it. Yeah. Do you, I, could you guys see where that ball landed? That, that ball it about chipped the paint off the, the stick. Paint stick. Right? That was that's the kind of coaching that we're able to do now. His his belief that I'm not going to take his foot off, and me able to listen to what he's saying and execute. And especially, that's the difference. Especially what happened to me so a heard, month ago exactly, and you heard when a guy hand. with a driver smashed down when I was leaning in on him. No spatial awareness at all. Just uh, just about, but that, that huh? That's... Let's go hit that other one. Let's go hit that other one. So, you know, we've, we've got the roulette wheel of social media, man. I mean, it's, it's awesome for the information coming in, but there is a ton, There's right? A ton. And Correct. it's coming out. It's not asking for it. It's just no, like bang, it's bang, 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 bang. <laughs> so uh, now the Masters of the Game, the portal's got... You got all that stuff right there. And what I like most about it is it's in your voice. So, uh, you know, we were just out 
two weeks ago and you're like, Michael, one of the things that I'm noticing now is that I'll tell you something and you'll get it. And that's what's important for me is that there's everybody's got something on social media, but hey, yeah. this is going to solve this and this is going to solve that. But it, again, going back to the foundation of working with your coach, your coach has remembered and has seen what you've done and has fixed things that focused on your swing, not yeah. everyone's swing. It's kind of yeah. like that uh, that Geico commercial. Some things, you know, it's not, not you're not the same as every driver. Well, you're not the same as every other golfer. That's and right. the person that you work with every week knows what your inconsistencies are and can help you work on that. So when you see something, and I've done it, I've actually talked to Paul about this, and where I've seen something on YouTube right before uh, I was going to go play, and I just went sideways. The whole round was just jacked up, and I had to come back out, and he's like, yeah, yeah, that, that doesn't work for you. That, that, that What they were focusing on is not something that you had an issue with, and so you just created something that wasn't there three weeks ago. So uh, yeah. that's what the problem with social media is. It's, it's not... Not everything is for you. Feedback. Feedback. You don't exactly. get any feedback. It's and, like, and, and you don't get the, uh, you may get a, a nice trick, but you don't get something that's working just specifically for you. Yeah, and I, and I don't mind it. I, I like the fact that, you know, my guys are researching, you know, yeah. taking a look. But And you come to me and you ask for, like, the stamp of approval. What do you think about this? And I'll say, that's good. I, I like that. I've said that before. Absolutely And other right. times I'll go, nope, don't do that. <laughs> Do not do that, right? And that saves a lot of frustration and a lot of drinking. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you that uh, that's a lot of stuff that... Uh, that, that <laughs> you know, describe what happens to this golf ball. What is so it So what I'm trying to get the golf ball is to hit center face here. And that's what I'm working on is just making sure I'm center face and straight back, well, straight forward. Because the ball is just bouncing off the club face, right? right? Just, so why twist it around I'm not going to try to... There you go. Now that contact was supreme. Aim was a little bad, but I wanted to aim more left, but that's what I wanted. That much spin the ball. Yeah. So you're in that, that you know, as far as like that the, the hole, right? You see this. Right. Everything's going to kick right. right kick Plus right. the spine, that pin is like, people are not going to be making too many birdies today because Chipping in here is going to kick way right. So you got to be left of the pin. See the house in the background? Yep. You got to kind of fly it that way. And, you know, count on some bounces helping you. But that club face bounce, you know, that ball bouncing off the club face was a big breakthrough. Oh, dude, there is no way. You see, yes. Yeah, it just really. Yeah, it's up. the green. It's where we are. Right. But there is no way that you were. I was doing that with no, the No, 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 yeah, man, because that, two balls that's like that. this son of a gun was like going from here and going whoosh, like yeah, you know exactly. up here yeah. opening and trying to you know, i don't know i was just and trying to i said is the ball bounces, bounces off, off here to like, yep. like a putting stretch. and that's been a big change Boom. for me is to be able to know that i could be here still longer putt than i wanted but that was the big part of my game is i would duff it here i'd skull it and it would go past the, off the green and people can relate to that let me absolutely. tell you absolutely you know so and so instead of say back you know, i want it in the back of my stance and then Leaning forward, I just want to. What I'm focusing on now is just making sure I'm getting club face and that straight back, straight forward. Yeah, and it's yeah, just yeah. kick back the ball, don't open that's, the face. That's a big deal for me. Yeah, huge and, change. And you know, you you got ricocheted to death here, right? Right, had we been chipping over there to the pin, it'd be in the hole. But you know, if it was a flat green, it would have been perfect. Exactly but our right. circumstances, hey, that's not what golf is. But to be able to count on that from here, yeah, is a big difference. There you are, buddy. Ah, <laughs> yeah, the mic popped off again. Good shot, dude. Woohoo! Well, that'll get you going down the road, huh? Back out of early mornings. Nothing better Another on Saturday. Another beautiful Saturday. Not too hot. Glorious day and driving to a ball with some of the fairway. That's right. That's always a good thing. What's that they said? It's like nothing better than a long walk with a putter. Oh, where is she? Way down here or what? She's way down. Oh, there's one there. That's the. She, there she is right there. Just off Perfect. Yeah. So we look there. at this shot we got over the bunker shot. Yeah. 87 in. I knew you could almost drive the green. What my guys need to do is assess the lie, right? Meaning that, I mean, this grass is clovers, which is a wide leaf. It's going to uh, take that's some off you get of it. flyers. It's a little wet. Yep. So you can take 
usually a little bit more, uh, you know, club. less club and let it float in there. What did you pick? I picked my A wedge, which usually goes 100, but I got some stuff here that I need to get out of. Well, yeah, but that's flyer grass, man. So you're thinking really 54. Okay, I'll yeah. go a little less club. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that flat leaf clover stuff is not adding any interference that, that's thin. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not <clears> going <throat> to go over the bronco. I'm going to stay left of it, going towards that big tree there. All right. Yeah. Hmm. That was dumb. Let's try it again. That was stupid. Get those hands away from you, man. Put the arms out, reaching more. Back away. So I was going a little left of it. You got another ball on you? I do. Get more space between your shaft and you. You know, make the arms feel like they're one with the shaft. Yep. Okay, so you're stretching more, right? Yep. Reaching more. Okay. okay don't get close to it, get further from it. There it is. It's a clean contact, right? Yep. See, I told you if it didn't fly. Yeah, a little long. I told little, you. Yeah, you if did. If you'd aimed at the pen, I think you'd been right on it. I think it. right on it. I did not aim at the pen. But trusting like like this grass right here, that's thick and nasty. The clovers is nothing. Ah, uh, right? that's a big this difference. Different yeah. Grasses, you know, there's all kinds of different grasses over here. So, so you got to be aware of reading that. that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that was a big thing that I'm always constantly doing. It takes power and accuracy away is bringing it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a great uh, video of Tiger with Fred Couples, and he's, Tiger's hitting shots, and, and Freddie's just talking to him, right? Yeah. Like they do. And Tiger was saying that when he d draws the balls, what he does is he gets further away from the ball, and then he uses a shoulder roll slow to hit these little slinger, swingers in there. And I, I, that's what I did, but I, I, I kind of thought it was more looking like Trevino is the way I kind of saw it like that. But it's the same thing. Now, if you get close like that and your handles are here, right under here, then you've got this angle right of the wrist cock, and that's gonna come out, right? Right, And so that's why we have trouble. So when you, you get that spacing between the shaft and Michael with the arms feeling like they're in one with the shaft. Now you're kind of like a, a, a sweeping putting stroke with the wedge. You throw me a ball, let me try yeah, that let's one do time. That. I'm going, to go, I'm going out the hill. You're going to aim the pin now, yeah. right? Go out the hole. Okay, now you're going to put it in the clovers. That's the other grass. Yep. There you go. Ooh, yeah, it's fine. All right. Okay. Stretch. Back away. Stand. Yep. Ooh. That's, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's really. Yeah, okay. Give, give, give it hell. Yeah, no, don't do a bunch of practice because then you're going to change everything. Here we go. Oh, I didn't get enough of it. Okay. So you're going from this look, right? You're going from this look to this look. Exactly. And then it's just a sweeper. What I what I messed on that one is I didn't throw any body into it. There it is. Yeah. Woo! So stand right here. Okay. Right there. So stand right up here. Yeah. So this angle is going to come out and gets us jammed up, right? So yep. when you walk away from the hands, and now you look more like, I look more like Bryson, right? Right. With this setup, well, there's a reason why he's doing this. He's maxing out the distance from the him and the ball. Can't shank it. Can't, you know, hit it fat. So here I am, I'm reaching way out here and I'm going to sweep this through with a kind of machine-like action. You can see how I just clipped the grass, right? Yeah, that's beautiful. Right? Is that an A? 
Yeah. That's what I wanted in the first place. You took it out of my hand. I yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and you already hit it over the green one. But the idea is like you, you tend to get in here close, hands under here, yep. chin up. And then what happens is you come in and you feel like, oh, it's uh, too close and I stay yeah. away. Yeah, exactly right. So let me try one with an A with a. Yeah, it's going to make a big difference. Let me try it. Not really. I do. I think that with an A, I'm not going to try to pepper it. Potentially. Potentially. You reaching? I'm reaching. Oh, that was ugly. Ugly kid, Joe. All right, here this we go. Is, so when you do good. your practice, you're gonna start feeling it different. Come over yeah. here. You're coming around and you look like this coming around. Okay, look at the angle here. You wanna feel like this. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me uh, yeah. put your grip on. Yep. yep. Right, so it's, so it's still this way, uncocked and sweeping. There's none of this. Gotcha, so I need it to be like this. Like this, you need to feel like it's like like this. Look, okay, yeah, okay. right. <laughs> I'm still hitting it right there, Paul. All right, man. Very nice. Nice rhythm there too, Michael. Right behind the bunker, putting to the pin. Yep. That's in. I hit ball, then ground. It's always a good thing. Ball turf, baby. Playing a little strategy because the creek runs in front of that green and gets further away from us on the left side. So we're going to play a little right of the pin where the tractor is. Oh, and I knew I was going to do that. I was too close. It looks like as if that ball's not there. All right, here we go. There we go. Right that at was it. it. Right at it, but I'm a Come short. On, baby. Oh, yeah, you made it. That's perfect. Well, lift it up top first, Michael. Way up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now just tilt the, no, no. Yeah, like that. Now see where the elbow is? Okay, now drop it down to the ground and feel that right elbow soft and underneath the left. The left will feel yes. more in line with the shaft. Yeah. Tuck the right elbow into your body. Sorry, buddy. Oh, stood up. Chest One more time. There. I was thinking about too many things. Call that my crowbar. Right? I'm gonna crowbar you, it's gonna be like this. Right? So there that elbow arm is under this arm. So you get that right arm on top, then you can stuff that handle right here like this. But if you get this arm above, it'll change the um yeah. Change that path easy. There you go. There you go, buddy. That's a lot different. Now I can finish. I just had to feel what that felt like. Yeah. So I didn't know I was doing that. Those little changes like that. Yeah, those arms. That little drill up top is pretty cool. Come on. Ooh. That's a huge difference. Huh? Yeah. It's those little changes. Little big changes? Little big changes. Like this? From yep. here? From there to? To like. And that's what I'm talking about. You're, you're catching stuff that I did I did not realize that I was doing that. And it does keep that handle up. It's just a. Just just, a little... When you hold the arm straight, it's just straight out like this, yep. right? You go, well, they're even right now. But you right. tend to get like on top, top. of that sucker exactly that right. That's exactly how I was feeling. And to feel, see how it brings that handle up? Oh, totally. Yeah. That's. That's a you want to set up everyone like that. You know, just go, here's what pros look like, right? Like right. this. Here's what amateurs look like. And that's where Hiked I was. I there. was all jacked up on that jacked right. Jacked up, so I want to be here. Nice one, Michael. Huh? 
Thank you. Thank you, Paul. So those little changes we're able to do. <laughs> you see that? Two in a row. The same trajectory, high, And just flush, making the small square. little minute changes, and that's what we're able to do now, where we weren't able to do. You can't YouTube that. You can't go no, to the range no way you and can YouTube that. You're catching that, and he's making little adjustments that I can see instantly and feel. How those arms come in delivered like that. And yeah. just, yeah, just another. Now go to the other setup. So, the other uh, setup was like this. Like that. Look and at that. Then you twist yeah. those hands. So, but if I'm here, it's a, the, the handle is already where I need it to be. And, and the shaft angles up. So it's almost like aiming at the bunker, right? Right. Good arm hang. Arm hang. Okay. Well, see, that's what I'm saying about the man. He listens. He puts it in play, and that's it. Thank you. That. We're out of here. He's out of here. <laughs> Took it down. Downtown. Downtown Charlie Brown. Hogan all the way in. Hogan's just smiling in his grave. All right. Check out Mr. Hogan there. Hello, Mr. Hogan. Oh. Good drive, Michael. Got a new arm hanging town. Oh, I stood up. I'm gonna play Hogan. I'll play that one. It's gonna hit another one. Yep. Come on, bro. That's it. Uh, just a little across it. Yep, that a was a little across it. Yep. And what I noticed too is this: is that when you make your practice swings, you're making them right there. Yeah. You're you're, you're making a, you're working a lot on this side, right? Yeah. On this side of the swing. So we got the back swing and the down swing yeah. on this side, and then the forward side after hitting the ball. And you're doing a lot of practice swings doing this. Well, you're already hitting on the heel, right? Right. So you got to change your modus operandi, and every time you go to hit, you should probably do this. You should probably do this little drill we found. Right. To feel like, oh, well, that feels like I'm going to come in from this way. Because this elbow is folded under this guy. Yep. And then it slides back this way, and then it's going to come back in from the inside portion of the golf ball. So you need to be feeling just that swing rather than those then pull around, around, coming around. Yeah. Gotcha. Exactly right. So I need to feel. Okay, do a little trick, though. I think that gives you some feel up here. Yep. Oh, yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah, maybe straight, and then whew, you feel that softness there. Yeah. And you put it down here, and you start coming in. That elbow slides behind your uh, vest a little and comes right Oh, back. yeah. Don't go okay. forward, though. Don't go around the corner there. Okay. Only come to right here on the practice. Okay. So you feel like you're slinging it out to a little right field, right? Yep. Okay. Better. The path. Look at the path. Look at the divot. Yeah. Let me try one more. That's yeah. that's a... That's the difference. Okay. You just got you know, put a couple. Uh, you got to change the pre-shot routine. Exactly. So it's here. There you go. There. That's it. And give yourself some room. Get that right. Oh, get that right arm tilted underneath the left. Yep. So the setup again here. Yeah, that baby's pointing to you. Gotcha. Not out here. Gotcha. There you go. I like how that feels. Yeah, on you can. See, it looks good. Yeah, for sure. Okay, that's good ball. Good ball, but okay, I'm feeling that now. I'll give you one more. Yeah, you got that. Lift those arms up above you. Tuck the elbow down. To do the drill. Yeah. That's it. There you go. Hang the arms like that and step away from them a little. Once you hang them, no, no. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. Yeah, no more practice swings once you get the arm. No, 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 no. Yes. Ah, no more practice swings. Nope. Yes. That's you know I mean? it. You start doing more practice, practice swings, swings and starts derailing everything. Exactly and pretty right. soon you're back You're back to like this. Last time. Last time. That's <laughs> yeah, it. Now, now, one more Is that what that was? That was, that was you so. Want me to pay? You want me to pay you for that good exactly. shot? Exactly. That, that was a huge one. Yeah. 
that's a huge one. I get in there and I practice swing. Man, out your of arm everything. hang, you're going to see it on here. Your arm hang was like just like this. And then you start practicing and then pretty and then soon all you're of like sudden this. I'm over again. here. Right. Yeah. Very good. Swung too hard. Here we go. Here it is, last time. Flushed it, though. I flushed it? You, fl you flushed it. You got, got some space. Good, 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 good. Yeah, there it is. Okay. You're going to look at this later and see this. That's a big difference. Yeah, it can take a little, uh, you, you know. If I could just connect to my body now, on my backswing. Yeah, those arms are looking like this, though, now. Yep. All right. So I just need to, that's it. Here we go. Get the arm hang. There you go. Oh, I stood up. One last one. That's it. God, let's take a feel. 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 Uh, all right, Here we man. go. This is the one. I'm trying to incorporate everything. It's got to be. Mm-hmm. Okay, four left. Yeah, I see what all I'm right. doing. There's my man down there. Look at this guy. Don't need a putter. <laughs> One-handed right, wedge. Hogan. Okay, That's the hog. Hog's going in. Hogan. This is not what I wanted, but. All right. It's got to be. You just hit it. You know the read now. All right. Let him in. Didn't move at all, but I thought uh, that was the read, Great huh? speed. That was the... Great speed. Oh, good luck. Oh, twink. Yeah. Paul, thanks again, brother. Always a good lesson. Pleasure. Really appreciate well, it. You know, picking up these tidbits that make a big difference. It makes you know? a huge like... difference in the world. And, just, and then now I have something to work on, which is another thing that happens with these lessons. Even though things are going well, we notice that something's wrong. My, my arm hang is not great. I want to start working on getting that there, which gets my club shaft a little straighter and i need to yeah work on making this elbow feel like it's coming around me so that's just the delivery when you come in i mean your elbow's going to be under this guy right so we got to you know if we're starting like this how do we do it and what oh. you tend we're doing is you're going from here then you were ripping around trying to switch the arms right but from here you don't have to switch anything right exactly you're here right. you got to switch the arms come around get it out and then from here it's like and we you know just those little things yeah. that and I can already feel the club head just standing up a little bit further, so I, I can really probably more room. Just right? yeah, unwind and unwind yeah, and more I room. really start to feel different. So I'm gonna something to work on. Bingo. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. On this yeah, party. man. Every, every, People every, inviting you to play member exactly. guests now. Exactly. That never happened. That would I never I, I was never even invited to play a scramble. Now. So like, hey, man, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. We we have to take Bowman's drive. I don't want to know if we have to take Bowman's drive. So. Well, if you take Bowman's drive, it's probably about 300 <laughs> yeah, yards. But it's maybe, it might but, be in someone's exactly, backyard. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, broken a window, but absolutely. All right, man. You having some difficulties with your game? Did you know that there are three major league systems that are used on the tour today? In the playing conditions, you can change on the spot. If you know these systems, just click the link below to drastically improve your game and take you to another level, just like a tour player. All right, we'll see you on the other side.